Here is a summary of the extract from the Browning version by Terence Rattigan. Frank, a young science teacher at a school, finds Taplow, a 16-year-old student waiting for Mr. Crocker Harris, a senior teacher. Frank does not know the student and inquires whether he studies science. Taplow responds that he is still in the lower fifth and that he would specialize only in the next term, once he passes. He does not know whether he had passed or not, since Crocker Harris does not announce the results early, unlike other masters at the school. He wishes to study science once he gets promoted. On hearing this, Frank remarks that the science class gets all the lazy students. Taplow protests and affirms his interest in science, but Frank replies that he himself has no interest in the kind of science that he has to teach. Taplow declares that science is more exciting than the book he was reading at the time, The Agamemnon by Aeschylus. When Frank asks Taplow why he thinks the book is muck, Taplow clarifies that he actually likes the play itself, especially the plot. What Taplow dislikes is the manner in which the text is taught, only as a set of Greek words to be memorized. And if one made mistakes, one would be punished. Frank notes that Taplow sounds bitter and asks him if he has been asked to stay back to correct mistakes he made. Taplow informs him that Crocker Harris has given him extra work, even though it is their last day of school. He finds it strange that Crocker Harris has time to give extra work, considering that Crocker Harris is leaving the school permanently the next day. Frank says that Taplow should derive comfort from the fact that at least he would be promoted to the next class for sure because he was doing extra work. Taplow responds that he is not sure because he feels that Crocker Harris is much stricter than the other masters. Here, Taplow refers to the teacher casually as Croc, but hurriedly corrects himself. Taplow goes on to tell Frank what happened when he asked Crocker Harris if he would get his remove. Taplow mimics Crocker Harris's way of speaking in a very gentle, rather throaty voice when Crocker Harris had told him that he had given Taplow exactly as much as Taplow deserved. Taplow further comments that Crocker Harris may have actually given him less marks and that the teacher seems to be hardly human. Here, Taplow realizes that he spoke too rudely and immediately apologizes. Frank then asks Taplow to repeat what Crocker Harris had said. When Taplow imitates Crocker Harris again, Frank sternly remarks that it did not sound like Crocker Harris at all. Frank then suggests that Taplow should just leave because Crocker Harris is late. But Taplow is shocked at the suggestion. He cannot imagine anyone doing that to Crocker Harris, expressing his fear of the master. Frank admits that he is envious of the effect Crocker Harris has on the boys and asks if Crocker Harris beats the boys. Taplow responds that Crocker Harris is not a sadist like some other teachers. He further remarks that Crocker Harris seems to have no feelings and appears to dislike being liked in contrast to other masters. Here he again refers to the teacher as Croc. Taplow remarks that despite everything, he does like Crocker Harris, but the old master seems to dislike this even more. Once when Crocker Harris had made a joke in class, no one had understood it. But Taplow had laughed out of politeness. Crocker Harris had then sarcastically asked Taplow to explain the joke to the rest of the class. While Taplow is relating this incident, Millie Crocker Harris, the master's wife, enters the room and stands watching Frank and Taplow. Taplow is shocked when he sees Millie, but Frank is not troubled. Taplow is worried that if Millie heard the conversation and relates what she heard to Crocker Harris, his results would be affected. Millie asks Taplow if he is waiting for her husband. When Taplow affirms this, Millie says that Crocker Harris would be late as he was in a meeting and suggests that Taplow should leave. Taplow is reluctant to do so because Crocker Harris had asked him to wait. Millie then suggests that Taplow should come back after 15 minutes, but Taplow is worried that he would get into trouble if Crocker Harris returns before he does. 
Millie says that she would take the blame and then asks Taplow to go and get Crocker Harris's medicine from the chemist. Taplow finally leaves with the prescription.